Okay, yay. Alright. Yeah. So, um... You know, I talked to my... My cardiologist, uh... Dr. Pham. And, um... In any case, um... Um, you know, I was talking to him about the Lovinant shots. And, um... He's kind of... Kind of... Um... Maybe suggesting, maybe... Not yet. Uh, that way. Uh, because he's more concerned with possibly... You know, bleeding out. You know, and, and really with the Lovinants, it's true. With, with even more so dad than mom. But both of them, really, they... They bled out, and... I, I want to... There's another word uh, for hemorrhage uh, that's, I think, it's associated with the use of blood thinner. And I'm not sure if the word is actually specific um, when, like, blood thinner in medical terminology, um, isolating, you know, a, a direct um, term when hemorrhaging is caused by blood thinner. And I don't know why I can't think of it right now. I'll think of it in a little while. Uh, in any case, yeah, um, you know, internal bleeding, um, caused by, you know, blood thinner. Well, anyway, you know, dad, mom and dad both, you know, they, they had warfarin and, um, Lovinox, and, um, more so with the Lovinox, uh, both of them had it, um, um, you know, pretty bad a couple times, uh, considerable, considerable amount that, um, almost kind of scary looking, uh, what looked like a no abundant amount, really. Uh, might have been almost, you know, a normal expectation by a doctor. But, you know, all that happening, you know, while I'm taking care of him is kind of like, you know, for the first time, kind of like, you know, I'm not sure if I should be panicking, you know, or what, you know, when all that was going on. But, um, in any case, yeah, so, uh, anyway, everything, uh, to that point. Anyway, you know, I was, I was, uh, explaining, you know, my thoughts about that. That, and, 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 and Dr. Pammy's. He's, he's, he's going more towards the, um, make sure I'm taking my medicine as prescribed and as directed, and truthfully, the, uh, the Dijoxin and the, um, Car Vetilol, uh, I'm supposed to take twice, um, and I haven't, so I'm going to start doing that, like, here, as soon as I get through making this one, and give that a little bit of time, I want to try and not have to go to the hospital, but, um, it's potentially possible that maybe so, again, and that's what, that's what I'm trying to, you know, I'm fixing to, to start going, um, to be, um, monitored, you know, with, with the blood, um, with, with the Coumadin. Um, in any case, you know, I'd mentioned, you know, um, you know, specific types of blood thinner. And, you know, I, I started explaining some of it. And, um, hmm. Yeah. In any case, yeah. So, um, that was said, and, uh, about, the, um, the whole new, um, approach to, um, technologically advanced, um, issues that, um, yeah. In any case, so, um, you know, I expressed my viewpoint on Eloquist, um, to him before, uh, a little bit again today. Uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, I'm not sure if I should almost rely on, I, mean, I don't even like using that word rely, uh, as far as like, uh, the difference between, um, transmitter and receptor and inhibitors, um, as far as like, a uh, neurology and, and, and normally, um, terminology used that would be involving, like, neurosensory, um, and the brain, um, and, you know, I mean, as far as like um, eloquence goes, I mean, you know, like I, I was telling him, uh, Dr. Goel, I said, I'm almost positive, like 25 years ago, um, where I was particularly at it, specific, not the only place, but I was hearing it quite a bit, like 25 years ago, and it did not involve me personally, and I didn't really focus on it, going beyond, you know, at, at what might be a, a carefree, you know, like, heard it kind of like thing but not my focus of attention and in-depth memory of like you know participation other than maybe hearing someone else talk that way 
but I am virtually positive that it was uh, prescribed as a psychiatric medication. My thing about that was that uh, what had been going on as far, you know, maybe, you know, and, and like the home theaters are like, um, for real, like throwing at the alphanumerics about the, um, you know, a power amplification. And, and I'm not sure about the 192, uh, if it's MKZ, like a mega kilohertz. Um, there's something about a little bit different with the, the 192. I mean, none of that information, it's, it's more than like it has always been there and available, but never like, you know, involving um, any uh, electronics or uh, made available in that way. And I'm sure that the only people that would really know about that would be the, you know, the degree levels, you know, um, of master's degrees. Yeah, for real. Um, you know, way back in the 70s type of uh, brains and genius about, you know, all that. I mean, you know, what I'm talking about now is really not new to them that long ago. I mean, for real. But, I mean, putting it all together and making it what it is now, I'm sure may have taken that long as well. But in any case, um, you know, I was mentioning the Alpha Marriage of 192 specifically um, with several, you know, comparison. Uh, and, you know, it, it all originated from, you know, the Thessalonians and Mount Olives, okay? Um, not that, you know, not to excuse the, the toilet from its, um, you know, participating factors of some fine upstanding citizenship, okay? It's pearly gates of heaven, okay? You know, or decide, like, you're going to wake up one more and be a Christian rock star. <laughs> like a stationary engineer. Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. You know, beyond the palm sorry notes or some greatness, yeah. Some marginal spread and stock exchange with the art link letter. Favor. <laughs> yeah, it's a must have, yeah, but please go the other way, alright? Yeah, anyway, so anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, um, Anyway, you know, like I was like sending a whole bunch of that stuff, and it was like, you know, I, you know, I, I know that like a lot of that stuff, it's like, like really, somewhere, up there, that's like, of some interest, you know, to degree levels, um, and I'm so for sure of it, but, um, you know, um, truthfully so, but the thing with this is that when I was going through all that, I mean, I was sending such an overabundant amount of like, you know, African American equations to the Pentagon. The White House, uh, Robert E. Rubin, Secretary of Treasury, um, you know, a lot of the Internal Revenue Service, the the, the Treasury, and um, I mean, virtually everyone, uh, the Supreme Court, the Internal Revenue Service, I mean, you know, television, radio, um, you know, in Washington, D.C., and some of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks as well, um, and certain corporations that personally, you know, I've been interested in. Um, you know, truthfully so, and and look at you know uh, like that was like one of the things I always did was kind of stay in touch with you know uh, what major universities were doing as far as like signal processing and um, audio production, television production. Uh, well, anyway, anyway, you know I was like studying in in a whole different way, um, in, including legal terminology. I mean, you know, like when I was going through the Center for Advanced Legal Studies. I mean, ridiculously, uh, to my own surprise, <laughs> and it's it's always true as of this day. I really learned more than I had anticipated, or even truthfully thought. But I mean, like when it really just thoroughly gets to it, I'm like really getting serious about, you know, what I have covered. I mean, you know, I I, I decided that you know really that really uh, uh when I realized that uh, the way it's practiced, um, uh, of many different areas combined through circuits um, one um, causation is another's effect um, you know it's kind of it, the list goes on and on um, not that there's an inadequacy it's just that the way it works is that the, you know in a circuit it's kind of like a you know it's kind of like every type of uh, uh, a practice involving law, um, you know, I don't call everything involved um, with law um, an end result of processing in the way of what some people's perception might only think it might lead to, you know, or some like 
Grand Royal Flush thing. Um, yeah. Or, you know, what, what, what that really might, um, place direction on. Um, and, and a method of banking. And it, it seriously, it, it gets, it, you know, it's like a, you know, it is so ridiculously not taught in religion. Although the terminology really is there. Something about, you know, powers and principalities in high places. And it's, it's so true about degrees of, like, you know, major universities that the principals, I mean, you know, it might be, like, one thing of an entire lifetime to even manufacture a, a principle of many degrees that have been, you know, proven to be, like, you know, some of the oldest, like, the nation has to offer uh, and their expertise in that way and combine, you know, the, the one principle um, maybe created and, and, and manufactured for maybe a once in a lifetime situation that when that principle and everything is met the requirements that it's the one and only time, you know, because normally they wouldn't have a need for each other uh, in that way unless it was like involving a new type of uh, um, integration, if not considered a, an advancement of um, using what's available to increase the uh, thing about it. Yeah, so, um, you know, something about the principle in that way, um, it's like, like an extremely big deal with degrees, um, making that happen. And, and, you know, um, it seems that, you know, some of the experience, like just with some of the, um, jobs uh, of degrees, um, it's almost like, um, you know, the difference between a degree and non-degreed thing about them non-negotiable, non-transferable itemization um, and a method of banking at the bank teller window. Non-negotiable, non-transferable itemization. Amazing. It's almost like someone told you that the national deficit um, available in closed caption for the hearing impaired is almost a term used somewhere <laughs> comparable to like the New York Stock Exchange's commercial paper yet um, uh, almost like a a certificate of deposit in 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 the way of a uh, what non degreed non trans non non degreed non transferable um, non negotiable itemization is to like you know I mean not limited to a registered charity in in, in the way of um, even terminology used in um, when a, a student gets a student loan. Uh, somewhere between the guarantor and uh, the the chain of command with terminology of actually who's who's a guaranteeing, um, who's uh, providing um, that uh, uh, through you know forbearance or you know a default or you know um, a hardship or you know whatever the case may be or you know a thorough um, um, repayment. Um, yeah, and, and, and you know, really something about the uh, uh, method of banking of non-negotiable, non-transferable itemization. It's almost ridiculous um, that it suggests an automatic reception of potentially going to be used. And if the only thing about the word user in the bank is potentially using a non-degreed, non-negotiable, non-transferable itemization over an endorsement and what that means in a circuit. Um, yeah, so, um, you know what that is in, in real estate, um, I, I've heard that, that non-negotiable, non-transferable organization used considerably several times, um, um, during the same time, maybe in need of each other, I, I, you know, I don't know what that, but it was during the same time period, not that it's anything other than maybe within the same week of advertising. Uh, I think there was a while um, uh, before without it, the before thing about, you know, uh, processing finder's fees, uh, um, finder's fees processing, um, um, people finding people who are due refunds on FHA HUD loans uh, finance that um, paid um, insurance on, um, I believe it's the, 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 the loan for um, the value of the home itself on the principal and any cumulative interest 
current accountability that had built up and did not default. And based upon the FHA and HUD thing, you've probably seen it on TV, you know, and some people were trying to capitalize on it by selling people into believing um, there's more to it than just simply going and, and finding maybe all the defaulted um, methods of like refunding people a percentage of insurance that's due to them as a refund um, because uh, it was never used. And there's a clause in FHA and, and HUD um, involving like loans or like a home purchasing homes that um, you know that, that they actually used and actually made it available to um, locate some of the people that the, the refunds were due to uh, that would get a processing fee for locating it and the only thing about the processing is locating them and taking them and, and, and arranging for them to get their refund because many people you know did not know or you know some people and that happens a lot uh, reading con contracts or you know the fine print um yeah and and, and that was like some of the you know the um, information that was provided with HUD and FHA loans um uh, um you know, I don't think it was even involving, um, you know, I don't, I don't like using that word mortgage. I think it's almost a, 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 a misperception. Um, totally something that, that, you know, I'm not real thrilled about the word mortgage, okay? For like so, so very many reasons. Uh, and normally, like, when it, like, originates from the original, um, for example, and, uh, um, you know, um, I've heard it used, like, from the original, um, principal on the amount, uh, and, you know, uh, uh, and used as, uh, terminology with a monthly payment, and, you know, refinancing and borrowing on borrowed money is more so what a mortgage is, is, um, than anything, not necessarily, uh, the principal on an original point of origin and and not even refinancing or using the, uh, the equity in that way uh, to consider any uh, if, if you want to call it equity to go beyond what would be maybe considered a, a percentage if not a, a, a down payment towards a, a, a larger amount it would be more along the lines of like a you know a mortgage but I've, I've heard so many different approaches uh, with that one particular thing about a mortgage that it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's so not funny, you know, and, uh, I mean, for real, and, um, in any case, so, like, the FHA HUD thing about processing, uh, finder's fee for getting people their, their due refunds, or, and I believe the, the, the insurance was predominantly, um, the factor and a accumulation because there had not been a need to file for any type of claims that the insurance covered should default happen for like any reason and i think that's really um something whether if it was like separate and individual anything other than included with the principal and i think with the fha and hud that it's automatically included and based on that fact might have been maybe um insignificantly um, um, not really ignored but uh, considered you know they had already reached the level that anything more at that point you know uh, would like signing or agreeing to the, the actual amount uh, a principal or a cumulative um, interest you know over a period of you know um, 10 15 20 30 maybe even 40 year uh, principal in that way um, but anyway there was like insurance that was involved and since there hadn't been any defaults, uh, all the good on-time stuff that took place, well, all that money, uh, uh, I think it was like a form of insurance. And likewise, in addition, uh, not having any claim on it or any, um, you know, covering any potential, maybe even a, a, a late fee or, you know, a hardship, a period of, a, you know, circumstance that might uh, dictate um, a need for maybe um, something that would be maybe... A, 
a leave of absence or unemployment that might maybe prolong a delayed, um, you know, uh, payment in that way might be covered with that. But anyway, there was like um, an insurance, I think, that's that's involved with HUD and uh, FHA that way. In any case, yeah, they, they had talked and stressed that that was part of I'm not sure if that was all that was involved uh, with the FHA HUD uh, refund and a finder's fee uh, processing the refunds to the um, original holders um, of that, yeah. So anyway, yeah, so, you know, I was looking at that for a while. And then it got ridiculous that everyone was wanting to capitalize on it. And they're actually like, get your version today. Yeah. <laughs> get the ver get your version today. Well, you know, all, you know, all that's great, you know. Um, yeah, um, yeah, for real, but, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, it's almost like the King James Version. <laughs> yeah. For it is written thing, yeah. It is written, yeah. Get your version today, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, or know how to be yourself and be accused of, like, not being a version of yourself, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if that actually falls anywhere near what a, a template might might suggest of a, it's not a breach of copyright, right? Yeah. Uh, Identity crisis, you know, trying to launch a new career, with, you know, a standard suitable <laughs> at a degree level of like reputable standards of consensual participation. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so like you know, I was like looking back. Anyway, so anyway, there's that fractal again. It's a little bit darker. I have a little bit more lighting in here right now. The 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 lamp I I took and turned it like straight up towards towards the ceiling to kind of kind of like um soften the, uh, you know, the, uh, the lighting, but anyway, yeah, so, um, I'm kind of like looking at that, and I'm still trying to think about that, you know, um, the degree, non-degree thing about the principle in a way, even biblically, you know, powers and principalities in high places thing, um, um, not necessarily anything at the high school of principle, you know, like, like at high school of principle. Um, truthfully so, but I'm thinking about more along the lines that when, when there were certain, um, integration of like, a different expertise involving, a um, normally, um, a, a bachelor degree of whether, you know, it would include, like I say, um, principle normally, uh, is involved with maybe, uh, interchangeability and compatibility and integration. Not always integration, but truthfully, um, at some point, you know, so, I mean, all that combined, uh, and for the all work, uh, involving, like, uh, you know, uh, degrees of, like, expertise that would normally not have anything to do with each other, like a once in a lifetime thing of, like, like building a high ride, uh, you know, and a generation during that time, um, that would naturally be the first time or you know like versus the entire generation like building it and and you know if not even being involved with it um is what i'm really getting at uh you know building most high rises uh is going to be an automatic five years if not seven i mean you know at a pretty much a 24 to maybe 30 floor um high rise it's, it's it's an automatic you know five years for real I mean potentially you know uh, give or take if weather's going to be a factor or it's going to be like unionized like 24-7 you know 365 a year uh, you know when I was involved with it I mean you know just, just from being around and curiosity just wanting to know kind of like thing you know some like some of the journeymen and some of the the degrees that they're they you know talked to as many people as I could whenever I felt like kind of like thing about stuff like that yeah so anyway yeah um yeah so um yeah anyway so um okay anyway uh see how much time I've already spent way more time 
and I've been doing it like more and more, talking more and more. Then, and I, it's not that I don't intend to it. It's just that I, then anticipate like every time like I've been starting to talk, talking as long as I did about something, and I'm just like you know, at randomly just throwing it, you know, right there at it. Yeah. You know? So anyway, I'm trying to stay focused and and concentrated with you know the concentrated, you know. Uh, information that won't you know just go on and on and branch off you know the state like mainline um and you know if i decide to upload some some other stuff on youtube with me talking uh, i'll think about it most everything on youtube that i've talked about um i mean it's just like i just start talking okay and sometimes i, I look at it you know, and, and I, I didn't really like some of the most, like, all my music videos. Um, I didn't plan on, like, talking on any of them other than, you know, really introducing, uh, you know, the band, the singers, uh, or whatever focal point, the name of the band, or the, the, the band being the name of the singer, or whatever the case may be. And, you know, I, I watched myself spontaneously. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's not that really, it's like a big deal, but really, I mean, after several times, I'm kind of like looking at myself going, you got to be kidding me, you know, and so sometimes all that, you know, at the moment, spontaneous reaction might seem to be, you know, like really not like a big deal, but really on YouTube, I mean, and, and what it could be like, you know, ongoing for, you know, the remaining years of a person's life, yeah, it becomes like ridiculously a big deal, but, um, truth so, so. I thought about that and I waited because I'm going to probably redo the entire thing. I mean, I have like probably more than um, 250 music videos. And really, you know, I had planned on, I might go ahead and do like maybe, you know, 3,000 for real, but I, I, I'm probably going to start off with just 500 and, and make the best of 500 in that way and then narrow it down and decide if I'm going to like, um, maybe um import export or whatever the case is um maybe maybe between um um youtube channels i only have one youtube.com channel and that is the wade a s v p r i d d y channel my channel yeah and so anyway you know I, you know i was just like you know i got to the point that i felt the need i was feeling some kind of stress about you know feeling like pressure within maybe maybe I just need to really seriously just get it on YouTube as soon as possible you know so that's really what I started doing I mean I didn't plan on doing it that way but I really started feeling the need that way anyway yeah so um in any case yeah so um yeah all right so um I'll probably go back and and like you know introduce every song by every singer, every band, without really saying anything personal about, you know, what I like. Well, obviously, you know, I like it. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm the one using it and, and purchase it and practice it. But obviously, I mean, you know, I don't need to really go beyond that other than introducing it. And it seems to be so much more professional and, and not ridiculously personal in a way of maybe what would be dictating as a, um, you know, a... a, a a discipline type of um, presentation not deviate with a you know I don't like calling it careless because as ridiculously as truthfully it, it gets to look that way even sound that way yeah that was not my intent really but really truthfully ultimately it gets to that you know it's kind of like like I said I was like watching myself listening to myself on some of those it's kind of like, like oh man you know but anyway, it's, it's really not a big deal, but, you know, so I'm going to, like, probably go back and do um, some of that, if not all of it, over again. Maybe just redo, like, everyone. But, like, you know, like I was telling you, you know, when I first got my, I, I haven't really used my digital video camcorder that much because of my phone. It's so much easier, and it gets a really good uh, recording, but I want to get to the point uh, to where I'm using really my digital video camcorders and I still want uh, the Sony 
uh, HXR NX100 digital video camcorder. I mean, most definitely a must have. And um, I mean, it has really, I mean, the XLR, it has the, uh, I think it's called the SDI. Uh, it's like a uh, BNC connector that uh, also, in addition, uh, makes the optional uh, timestamp available. Uh, and um, coordination with like, uh, uh, I think um, time zones um, are optional, which can be chosen. But anyway, you know, it, it's, it's a coax cable with the BNC, and um, uh, it, it's if if I'm not mistaken, um, you know, it might require you know uh, a little bit more equipment, but can like you know um, broadcast and record and uh, 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 live streaming with like you know television, uh, even like a live via satellite. I think it's the SDI is makes all that with the coax cable and the BNC cable. Um, you know, um, and then, you know, I, I'm not really thrilled, maybe, of, of having Wi-Fi, um, or the need for Wi-Fi, or really even Bluetooth in that way, um, for my own personal reason of thorough control, uh, and not the potential of, you know, some, like, you know, far beyond, uh, uh, expertise and degree, uh, support the entire situation, so I'm trying to avoid, you know, what all that might mean for someone else and not be, you know, my thought of what experiencing or shouldn't even have to put up with experiencing. I'm trying to avoid that kind of stuff um, or anyone's excuse um, in any kind of way that, you know. So anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, truthfully so, so, um, um, yeah, so, um, the Sony HXR and X100 digital video camcorder. It's got the XLR for you. The two um, XLR normally um, not limited to condenser mic microphones, but XLR is predominantly um, um, an automatic condenser um, microphone in that way. In any case, um, you know there's all kinds of microphones but really um in any case it, it has that that can like go through the mixing board <clears throat> you know when i hooked um some of my other um digital video camcorders up xlr you know uh, um hooking the xlr up um and what i have like on on um i have 32 channel mixing board and um on, on each channel it has a uh, an XLR and a quarter inch in a quarter inch out um, and I think it has um, I think it has three quarter inch and one a XLR um, in any case you know um, one specific uh, line in line out and an auxiliary that's both an IO input output is what it is, yeah. You know. uh, and an XLR on each separate channel, I'm going all the way through like uh, 32 channels. Um, and um, assigning a, 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 a four mix down fade, um, predominantly into a stereo, or you know, it's optional. Uh, it can be used in, in recording because you know, like I say, I have that that task cam. 32 channel um, um, a digital um, Porter Studio SD and when I was going to get that task cam 32 channel uh, it was like focusing on the compact disc and and you know making masters um, compact disc with a master uh, recording with like you know if need be you know recording each channel separately with a total of like 32 separate channels or any combination of mixing, buzzing or assigning those 32 channels or grouping um, or you know live and post-production and, and what editing would be in that way um, so I mean it does quite a bit and, and I think it actually um, actually um, 
actually, you know, um, will process uh, information. Um, uh, anyway, before I get into it, you know, um, predominantly it's, it's for audio production, but I think it does um, some um, very, very much needed type of uh, processing involving audio, video, uh, as well as the video side. Um, the task cam. I think it's called a, 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 a DP32 um, digital um, SD. Anyway, you know, I was going to get the DVD. I was going to get that. Um, and they were going back and forth of availability. And when I went to go get the DVD uh, to actually make masters um, recordings for the 32 channel, uh, they discontinued it and went completely to the uh, MP3, MP4 format, as well as the, um, the SD card um, that way. And with the USB uh, memory stick, in that way with like mp3 and mp4 um and that's what i have now um in any case yeah so um all that in combination with a uh, 32 channel mixing board and, and video you know like when i started recording i mean i must have done i mean i was recording day all day every day uh, i would have done it like all night too um but anyway you know Ultimately, it was like every day for like months. Uh, I probably recorded pretty close to 500 single individual songs on um, my digital video camcorder alone. Plus, um, you know what I was doing on the phone, uh, my mobile phone, um, and what I have on YouTube is predominantly more so from my uh, my mobile phone because it's faster, easier, convenient. Um, but I'm fixing to take the time to, but, you know, like I'm looking for carpet now. So I, I'm going to like rip all the carpet out, except for, you know, mom and dad's old room that I already had carpet, um, you know, like three or four years, um, rolled up and was going to put in a different room until, um. You know, mom had passed away, and then, you know, all that other was going on, then, then dad got cancer, and he passed away, so I decided to, you know, take all their old carpet out, and put that, that burgundy red carpet in there, and put all my exercise equipment, um, in that room, so I mean, you know, so like, that's new, um, the other carpet that I put in the other room, it's new, but, I mean, it hadn't even been used, and it still needs to be shampooed. Uh, ridiculously true. I mean, hadn't even been in it, and it really needs to be cleaned and vacuumed, and yeah. So, um, but in any case, I'm not getting new carpet in that room. I mean, it's new carpet. Um, but anyway, like my bedroom, the hallway, and the living room, I'm going to take all that carpet out. Yeah, I, I would consider the same burgundy red, you know, shag carpet, you know, to match my drum set, and that's strata red, you know, with a Pearl Vision drum set with um, a strata red um, with the black hardware. I mean, you know, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get the blue um, for both my room as well as the, um, the big living room. And I'm going to wait, and I'm going to see if it's really going to be... Um, a good decision. Um, normally it would be an automatic, you know, not a concern about it being a good decision. Anything other than choosing, you know, and I have to consider any other external factors. Uh, yeah, for real. So anyway, so I'm kind of waiting and seeing something about that. So, um, yeah, so, um, anyway, I got the cutter. You know, I was going to buy some uh, regular scissor type of you know, power scissors to cut the carpet. But what I got, I mean, I just got it like yesterday, is um, a round disc that cuts carpet leather. And instead of it being scissors, you know, I've learned from like scissors that sometimes if it's like held at the wrong angle, the scissor blades will like split and sometimes bend from just that amount of, of force and it will never cut the same ever again. Uh, 
So I decided to get that one with a round wheel, and it's got like a like a U shape uh, um, deal on either side. It keeps it like a line, but yet it cuts at any angle, like you know, um, without a problem, uh, and doesn't present the issue of like a you know, um, depending upon two blades being perfectly uh, calibrated at angle to get the perfect cut. I mean, it's just really one round disc uh, and, and a couple of like U-shape uh, um, guides that, and, and it actually sharpens the round disc at the same time. And it's like way better, more dependable, lasts a lot longer as far as like uh, even having a need to, to change it because it sharpens itself. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about trying to get in here, maybe uh, at least cutting the carpet. And um, the way it is, I mean, it's just a, you know, I, I you know, I wash, I put my feet in that that hot water with the immersion heaters, and um, hmm. yeah, so um, the hot water I don't think is what I'm going to use to maybe cause the fluid to like sweat through my pores of my feet. I don't know what that stuff is, but is um, it's not um. You know, when I first did it, it was because the pressure in my legs had built up with the fluids. I mean, really, I mean, it was like really painful. And the fluid had built up so much in my, my legs that, that it started squirting out of my pores on my legs at various different places on both legs, just squirting out. Um, I mean, you know, two, three feet when it like came through the skin. It like really kind of like, kind of hurt. It's almost not funny that, you know I mean, <laughs> I really was a little painful, yeah. So anyway, I went out there and bought that new um, hot water foot massage for it, right? And that's when, um, after about 15, 20 minutes of sitting on my feet in 118 degree water, that, that white film, that Mugu Gaipan looking white stuff. If you've ever eaten Mugu Gaipan, like at a Chinese restaurant, uh, I've seen it more so on the the the, the bleached. I, I don't like using that word bleached, but like a, more of a whiter. Phenomenally, it's true. Uh, Muku gaipan. It's not always like scrambled egg would always present like the yellow, and how they get it to turn more so white, other than the egg white itself. But anyway, yeah. Um, Truthfully, so it's so. Uh, something about like the summit meetings in Geneva, Switzerland now. I mean, it's, it's so, I mean, ridiculously uh, looking very much so like that. And something about the Sox and Goldman Gold Rush days. Even a band rush sings about certain factors. and It's kind of like, you know, the weight in the water thing. Um, Painting for gold in the Gold Rush days in the river. <clears throat> and like the Delta Force and all that stuff about um, the mouth of the river and, and Delta uh, ultimately getting to yes it's Sigma you know it'll probably the biggest of probably maybe five like Sigma Alpha Delta Beta Kappa Phi uh, you know something that sororities and fraternities would identify um, you know how true it is about uh, sororities uh, actually choosing something like Sigma Alpha Delta um, Kappa Phi or something, you know, along those lines. And I'm not sure how they actually choose or, you know, based upon, uh, um, if you want to call it a hooked on phonics or a syllable issue of implication, I mean, I can grasp that really simply and easily. Uh, as far as like the um, academic, um, term and definition um, if that would be ambiguous or something like you know Sigma Alpha Delta Kappa Phi uh, in that way you know I've seen like degree um, graduates with their license place have all their symbolic representation and sometimes you'll even see the uh, what looks like a, a horseshoe uh, but it's, it's really an ohm symbolic symbol for it and ohm um, 
Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, and then like the uh, the delta, the triangle, you know, and uh, that way, or even the pyramid on on U.S. dollar. And like I said, I was getting to that pi r squared thing um, with the the tennis court and the Bantits love thirty thing in it. The um, the secret de facto pi and pi r squared thing, empire thing, empire thing, yeah. Um, pi r squared and uh, something about the uh, homeowners association uh, being HOA and the General Motors Acceptance Corporation being GMAC and you know both of them alpha numerically being 24 um, you know or you know the the, the the military time thing yeah anyway so like getting to the IAEA being 24 as well or the big Marlon Brando thing um, the big O thing uh, equating to the 39 yay thing ultimately getting to the 10 and the binary numbers and sequencing characterization and sets of four yeah after all that you know computer language and computer programming all you need is you got the goods got the mods yeah got the mods man got the got the gyno aeronautics <laughs> got the global eye <laughs> got the but I have aptitude globalization and international financial management <laughs> the Eisenhower nativity point to the origin like Eisenhower's spotted a need for the Statue of Liberty to you know represent the not only the seven countries of Europe uh, in the euro dollar, some significance, a little bit, not limited to the 12 other reserve banks and the New York Stock Exchange, some exchange commission, or you know the uh, discount window, <laughs> like huge mega multi-million dollar transaction of importing and exporting, or um, um, anyway, um, anyway, you know, it's kind of like I was thinking about the. Uh, yeah. Sox and Goldman and the Gold Rose thing. Um and and the Muku Guy Pad and you know, digging for gold is like, you know, the, the, the pasty symbol. I mean, had I not stuck my feet in that hot tub and the way everything is happening it's almost ridiculously not funny. I'm well, it's still not funny anyway. But I was thinking about, you know, like brass is like gold colored. And, and, and you know those pants that they use could be even comparable to even a, a symbol. Well, anyway, you know, like John Wayne, there was like uh, quite a bit of John Wayne movies with a chef named Hop Singh, and very rarely, but Mugu Guy Pan really has been something in in uh, John Wayne's movie, and and uh, Wyatt Earp. Um, I mean, that's that's even older. I'm not sure if that's like. You know, a great grandfather. You know, uh, so I'm not sure how old the Wyatt Earp thing is, but I mean, I was like really young and knew about it. Um, it's almost like you know, I was watching a, a John Wayne movie, Flying Tigers. I mean, you know, I've heard my name on and off um, quite a bit um, throughout the years, uh, and that's like one of the movies where John Wayne is like a pilot uh, for like one of the Flying Tigers, and his name is Wyatt. Okay. Um, and Flying Tigers is like 151 and you know, yay, you know, all that mental telepathy, mind is God and 151 secret servers and Jesus Christ and you know, uh, Holy Spirit and all that stuff. I don't like focusing too much on the uh, subliminal message, mind is, oh no, not, not the, not the 26th lie thing. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so anyway, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, like John Wayne's chef. Um, many times I focused on that um, pop scene and um, the pan um, and actually the feet in the river and something about that um, um, and I'm trying to remember if the connectivity gets to that acronym GIT G-I-T the geospatial information technology uh, feet being 36 as well and 
Chase Oil and Subconscious is my shares and Houston, Texas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. And um Yeah, electronic power and all that stuff. And Alpha Merch USA and apparently in Texas. Home USA and all that stuff. Anyway, you yeah. know. Anyway. Oh god. Hopefully I'm I'm going to go to sleep here a little bit, yeah. I'm feeling the need. Yeah, so anyway, um In any case, yeah, I was um thinking quite a bit about that. About the Wyatt Earp thing. Because um I was at Vance's Love Thirty and the uh, Secret Tobacco Pie and that pie I was wearing. And um you know, several things involving Empire. Not limited to Queen's Rive or another video thing or the Empire State Building thing. Or um what Empire might suggest to even M1, M2, and E3, you know, domestic monetary and gross national product as far as aggregates go. Um, or what, you know, the Pyre Squared and Robert E. Ribbon. Because it's, 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 uh, it's amazing as the, the, the number three spelled out is 56. Okay. And um, through studying alphanumerics, even more so when I started using sets of two numbers uh, and alphanumerics and words uh, because when the alphabet is reversed you know like uh, M is M uh, N is M because those are the two letters in the center of the alphabet and like I had mentioned before you know like um, Jehovah Witnesses they focused on 1913 and 1914 they acted like they didn't use two different dates or years but they still did and didn't act like it at all and that's the same with the 12 photo reserve banks they did use 1913 and 1914 and acted like they didn't like not anything was recognized as different or changed in any case um that's my point okay but yeah that that is very much like you know the very beginning of the, the 12 photo reserve bank system in north america and the, the u.s dollar um, the entire Federal Reserve, 12 Federal Reserve Bank, um, was predominantly taught by Jehovah's Witnesses, not necessarily the, the bank, but the dates. Those are the dates. Um, and really, that's all I needed to know. Um, that way, uh, like in the Watchtower um, of the Jehovah's Witness Church, um, because when like the alphabet is reversed, you know, you know, M is N, N is M. 13 is 14, 14 is 13, okay? So, um, you know, I was like studying, yeah, I didn't even know what I was looking for. I mean, when I first started, I didn't know what to look for, uh, or, you know, should I even go any further beyond this point? Anyway, I kept doing it, and I found interest in, in that way that actually led me to use like a 13 is 14, was my first, you know, of the two um, numerical value. Alpha numeric values in the alphabet that when the alphabet is reversed, um, it's reversed, and yeah, so um, I started actually using um, that, but instead of like 13 is 14, uh, if I got to when I realized that, not, you know, I'd taken computer science real sh short briefly um, and got the, I mean, bare minimum uh, um, in the computer science lab. I didn't, I didn't stay there long. But anyway, yeah, you know the binary numbers, uh, um, zero and one. I mean, it was something that was being covered at the very beginning uh, of computer science, and uh, any combination of the zero and or one, or just like the one only or the zero, in any combination, there's only two different numbers of uh, a sequencing and characterization and for that actually create the computer generation of what you see on the keyboard okay uh, likewise in programming um, beyond that point because of the way sequencing happens with binary numbers uh, allows like when you see like you know computer programs that are written um, how sequencing and character sets of characterization and sets of four 
ultimately looks like a, a lot of stuff involving, you know, all different caps and punctuation and um, stuff like that with programming. Um, as compared to just, you know, normal diction or sign or um, format content and body of like a, a type letter. Um, you know, I mean, you know, anyway, anyway, I'm kind of brainstorming right now. Um, I'm going to take a break here real soon. Hello. I've already been on here 55 minutes, almost 56. Anyway, yeah, um, so anyway, um, it gets to that point about the, um, the white herb and the, the chef. Hop sing. Okay, and hop sing is what I'm counting from, you know, the ing, sing, hop sing. So what, 30, 49, 50, 60, 65, 75, 80. That's like 88. Hop sing. Okay, and automatically it's like a New Deal Act. Um, the Roosevelt New Deal Act. Um, New Deal being 64, New Deal Act being 88. And Oldsmobile Bill Delta 88. The Delta Force, the river, uh, the pyramid, the triangle, and then the pi r squared. You know, somewhere, somewhere in between um, the tennis court and 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 the the fancy slope thirty. I mean, it's automatically like um, a diamond. From the information I was looking for, uh, involving diamonds, that ultimately you know link the European thing and the euro dollar to like Egypt and Africa. And that way with like um um what import and export it means to other countries monies like at the New York Stock Exchange, um, or even comparable reference to the pi R squared and how the pi R squared um is like almost like, you know, um not just one triangle on the US dollar, but like or or or, or one pyramid representative of a triangle. Uh, although, like, the power squared being, like, the two triangles in the Star of David, uh, uh, on, like, you know, uh, the Star of Israel being a six-point star, or two triangles. Um, so I'm looking at that power square, like, once again, I'm just really thinking about a lot of stuff in my memory. And the, the white earth thing, um, the exclusionary rule provision, and white earth, and earth technology, because, you know, um, the IEEE organization is uh, the acronym IEEE O is 39, the same as ERP, E R B, uh, of like why it's ERP. And, 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 and you hear the pronunciation of like, you know, why it's cafeteria and why it's ERP. But, you know, based upon the pronunciation, it can be spelled, you know, two ways, if not three. Um, yet why WHY is 56 as well um, um, you know the 56 is 10 ultimately uh, continually seem to be leading to a Roe v. Wade thing about the um, abortion being 94 the word abortion is like 94 so is adoption the complete opposite the same as you know 115 being intelligence and the exact opposite, opposite being 115 itself, or um, um, something about the, um, you know, a telepathic face thing. Yay, all right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you know, there's some other alpha merch about it, but anyway. Um, so, in any case, um, it got to that point that, uh, Um, oh god, that wide open that hop scene uh, on, on the river thing and, and the symbol, symbolic representation on the back side of the US one dollar, uh, and the Mugu Gaipan being like the, the, the white stuff that like it sounds like a, a idol cure is actually singing about the feet and like even Rush and a lot of a lot of bands that I mean I've listened to my entire life. I mean, until I. If I want to put my feet in that 
hot tub is the hot tub this the vibrating foot massage this last time and if that white stuff that gooey stuff that film looking uh, on, on all over top and side of my face I would probably wouldn't have thought really anything about it just like I always have for like 25 30 maybe even longer but when that happened I mean kind of like so you know plus I I've been studying stuff like that um, I mean for like decades um, it was almost like an automatic thought for pasty symbols to be you know I'm a, obviously I'm a drummer I don't even use pasty symbols but you know when I don't know why I don't remember they're identical twins you know Dane and Phil Cisag well anyway when I got back home he was like the drummer for New Hope Church okay and he used pasty symbols but they only had a five piece drum set there anyway I went there he was fixing to leave and move to Austin um and so like I played the drums there for like about a year about a year with Howard Agnew um and Kyle um I'm gonna have to, yeah it's about a year yeah so I, I was there like you know all the time on you know during service and playing the drums there but anyway um <laughs> in any case yeah so um he used pasty symbols but when I put my feet in there uh, and that white stuff was coming out through the pores of my skin. I started thinking about, you know, all that stuff. And uh, all, the, all the songs I've heard my entire life for like decades involving feet. It didn't have any significance. But, and like, it's like, you probably heard the phrase, has a whole new meaning. Once again, I mean, it's kind of like, for real, I mean, a whole new meaning. Um totally changed my perception about so very many things about it. anyway I gotta go I gotta take a break you know you know uh, I gotta take a break and I'll talk to you later